How are you? Welcome to CUO Making Choices, where we correct misrepresentations about Nigeria, Africa, and Africans. Today we're going to be exploring seven things, seven actions that Nigeria that is happening in Nigeria presently that is holding us back from being the economic powerhouse that we should be right now. Number one, producing crude oil in Nigeria and importing refined oil into Nigeria. How much is it costing us to import refined oil? We have a couple of refineries here in this country, in Nigeria. Why are they not working? Who's responsible for them not working? Why are we importing refined oil, petroleum, when we produce crude oil? Who is benefiting from us importing refined oil when we produce it? Number two, producing cocoa and importing chocolate. Well, Nigeria is not the number one country in terms of the production of cocoa, but we're a very significant player in the game. So why do we do, why don't we export chocolate? Why are we producing so much cocoa, but Switzerland is the top producer of chocolate? In fact, the best. I don't know if Switzerland, they grow their cocoa. Where do they get it from? Why are we buying expensive Swiss chocolate made from cocoa we produce in Nigeria? Number three. <laughs> I still cannot believe and explain how stupid and how senseless it is to loot money from your country, steal it to another country, to better the country. They use the interest for their own development. The looting of public funds meant for developing Nigeria and stacking it, you know, lodging it in foreign banks is something that's working against Nigeria. We know it's working against us. It doesn't benefit us anywhere. It's happening. It doesn't make sense. Number four. Nigeria is almost 200 million. We travel a lot. Everywhere you go, there's a Nigerian, but we don't have a national airline. Nigerians, Nigeria, our country, we do not have a national airline, and we're one of the top world travelers in the world. Can you imagine how much we give to other countries in terms of airlines? They, they, you know, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> we travel so much, but we don't have a national airline. It doesn't make sense. Number five, I have gone in my work as an international humanitarian actor, I've been to some of the remote places around the world. They have electricity. The fact that Nigeria has become comfortable with lack of electricity does not make sense. Who is benefiting from a lack of electricity? Who are those who make money from the importation of generators? Why are we so comfortable with the poor production of electricity? It's, a, it's affecting our economy. Small, medium enterprises are suffering. Think of the businesses that have been killed due to lack of electricity. Think of the people that have died in hospitals due to lack of electricity. Think of what the lack of electricity is doing to our economy. It doesn't make sense. Number six, I'm going to look at education this time, but it involves a lot of other aspects. Nigerians are so intelligent. They, we pursue education. We believe education is important. And we do invest in it in other countries. It's become, the pride, it's become the pride of most Nigerian parents to send their children to school abroad. Many countries in Europe and North America make billions out of us, out of Nigerians, from the fees we pay by sending our children to school abroad. Meanwhile, our educational institutions are in disarray. We don't bother to pay our teachers. We don't invest in the educational system. You know what I think? If you are the Minister of Education, you must only be the Minister of Education for Nigeria if you can prove that all your children have gone to school in the country and you have. It, it does not make sense. 
to have a minister of education whose children are going to school abroad? Who has been educated abroad? If you're heading the educational institution managing it for this country, we want to show that you believe in it enough to have invested the future of your children in it. It doesn't make sense that Nigerians have given up on their educational institutions in our country because they see Western countries as a better option. If it doesn't work here, your ambition must be to send your children abroad, out of Nigeria. You're great, you're great. Then you don't care what happens in this country. If teachers are not paid, the schools are in disarray, you don't care because you're working very hard to send your children abroad. It doesn't make sense. But then we all complain. These don't make sense. There are more that don't make sense. Please, let me know what more you want to add on this list. But this is my first top seven right now. Thank you very much.